Batman the Dark Knight Detective Volume 3 Blind Justice. This is a really interesting thing. It covers uh, Detective Comics, and it is issues number uh, 592 through 600. And so you get a nice little smattering of different storylines through here. And uh, it's got Norm Brayfogle on art, who's got a little darker and a little grittier of a quality than Jim Aparo in the Batman counterpart, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's, it's, it's a different style a little bit. And these are grittier stories through here, too. Um, we have um, a lot of characters. They, they feel like more realistic stories uh, going on in here. And you've got this, uh, this like, psycho killer uh, going around, serial killing, who has to stop at the beginning of this. And those uh, kind of more realistic feel, you don't face the, the Riddler or, or Two-Face or the Joker uh, over the course of this volume here detective comics has a different feel to it which i i really like all the way around now um he, uh, batman ends up in cuba uh, to stop some some drug running at some point with alan grant's storyline here which is a lot of fun and uh it, batman as a like navy seal style commando uh is is really a a, a hoot uh, to read about for sure this one is interesting and it actually plays on uh like video content which started to get big in the 80s here you, you could parallel it with YouTube or something like that. And this guy's like selling voyeur videos of people beating the crap out of each other in the street. And Batman's trying to hunt down this ring of people who are, are buying this kind of uh, content. And of course, then they just make a video of Batman getting assaulted. <laughs> and that's uh, how that goes through here. Uh, so we get an 80-page giant. And this starts Blind Justice. So we, so the last three issues are over, or I guess the middle one's not oversized, but this one and then Batman or Detective Comics 600 is also oversized. This one's interesting because it it gets into like a sort of a supervillain, but not really. There's a guy who's like controlling this like as like a mind control thing. And he's building these giant clones uh, as an army. And he's he's uh, going out and he'll blow up the clone and then he'll get another body and, and do it the next night for the crimes. So Batman never figures out like what's going on over the course of this. Also... One of his employees is missing, uh, who is like a part of this as well. And his sister's searching for him, and, and Batman gets into a kind of will they, won't they relationship with her over this storyline. Really gripping storyline with a lot of personal stuff in it. This is the best maybe storyline I've, I've read out of Detective Comics through this series so far in volumes one through three. And uh, really interesting that Bruce Wayne like really gets injured and ends up in a wheelchair in this. Now, with Batman 500 coming up, that's exactly what's going to happen over there, too, and Batman gets replaced. In this one, Batman takes control of another man's body and uh, runs himself as Batman uh, uh, to go and fight the villain uh, with that mind control tech that uh, he's fighting against to begin with. And they end up doing this like whole body swapping thing, which, which ends up really uh, funky towards the end. And, of course, the guy who is in the Batman suit ends up getting killed, which makes the sister go away. And, uh, and, you know, adds to Bruce Wayne's trauma and all that. Lots of parallels with, like, Bruce Wayne's upbringing as this goes along uh, through this story as well. But I found it really funny that, like, Batman's in a wheelchair, injured, unable to be Batman, so he gets another Batman right before, like, Batman 500's coming up, uh, gosh, in four or five years uh, with, with the Bane storyline, which, which takes that to the next level, of course. Uh, but interesting to see how those themes start to develop already in Dark Knight Detective. So this is a 8 out of 10 Batman adventure. Pretty good spot. Uh, if you've never read a Batman book before, you'd be fine starting here. Uh, you kind of know the characters and get to know them pretty well. The art's pretty cool with Nora Brayfogle. At the end, obviously, that was not who that was. Uh, and then uh, we'll see where Batman goes going forward after issue number 600 continues. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.